Hello there, citizens. I want to read a poem from Jerry Sloan's Paper Lanterns, his book of poetry. Poems by Gerald Sloan. Whoops, get that finger out of there. This is a great book, great book of poetry. I hope you folks get a chance to to purchase it one day soon because it's uh, it's awesome. Man is awesome. Then his last year here at the University of Arkansas, or there at the University of Arkansas. <laughs> Uh, I want to read to you a poem uh, from page 36 of the book, uh, and it is titled, The Last Wild Turkey in Manhattan, by Jerry Sloan. <laughs> she only made it to the 28th floor of an upper west side high-rise, perched sedately on the balcony like a tourist taking a breather. Or worse, like some avian ishi who strayed into civilization in a final act of desperation disoriented or simply curious. Wild turkeys can fly vertically only a dozen feet or so. How she rose so high and why is anyone's guess, intent on scaling some turkey Everest. The Times can only report the fact, plus a photo of the startled occupant who is rethinking his theory of omens. Charles Fort would have loved this, this crazed creature gone balcony hopping in the unlikeliest of settings, pausing briefly to catch her breath, ungainly bird who forces us to ponder the absurd. The Last Wild Turkey in Manhattan from Gerald Sloan's Book of Poetry, Paper Lanterns. You should get it. It's really cool. He's really brilliant. Have a good day.